Hi, I'm Rachel Irvin. I am a sophomore at the University of Alabama studying costume design. Some of my favorite costume inspiration came from old movies that I would watch when I was little, and I would love to see the ball gowns or the men's suits. And so now I want to kind of do that on my own. I want to create beautiful costumes and bring those kind of characters to life. At the UA Costume Shop, I'm already getting to bring some of these characters to life with the costumes I create. Here's how I do it. The very first thing I do is read the script. As I read the script, I take good notes so I can try to figure out who the character is and what they would wear in a certain situation. After reading the script, I will do a series of small sketches called thumbnails and take them to the director to get them approved before I do final renderings. Renderings are done to help finalize the design direction for a costume. And then we take the rendering into the shop where the magic happens. We'll take the rendering and use it as a reference to create a mock-up out of muslin, which is cheap fabric. To create the mock-up, you can use a process called draping, which is where you take the fabric and pin it onto the mannequin in the form that you like. Then you can trace pattern designs such as necklines or armholes onto it and cut the fabric into the shape that you like. After the mock-up is finalized, you will take it into a fitting with an actor or actress who will try it on and see if there are any necessary alterations. After the alterations are made, you will then get to move on to the fashion fabric and create your costume for real. Now we will repeat the process we did with our mock-up, but this time we'll use our real expensive fabric. All right, there you have it, your final garment, minus the 30 hours it took to actually create it. Now we'll head to the dressing room, have the actor try it on, and it's ready for showtime. On opening night, it's always so exciting to see the costumes that I've helped create bring those characters to life. I hope that my costumes will not only help tell a story, but help inspire the next generation of artists, designers, and storytellers.